Hello and welcome back. This is Double O'Neill and my name is Tris. I've enjoyed doing this episode. It was all about static grass and I've had a lot of fun and I'm hoping this episode encourages you to get out there and have a go at doing it yourself. Obviously you have got these scatter options of scattering on some grass but I fancied doing a bit of static grass. I bought the WWS kit. There are other ones available I'm sure and I'm sure they're very good too. Um, I had a variety of different um, static grasses and I had to go with all of them. Um, just want to say don't forget to subscribe, like and comment, let me know what you think. Um, click on that bell, it will let you know when I've put a new episode up and it will pop up in your subscriptions too. Um, anyway, th thank you for watching so far in the comments I've had on the various different things like on the ballasting. Um, it was my first time and had lots of nice comments and as you can see here, you can see my work of the ballast that's there and it's going to be complemented by some static grass laying in a bit. I hope you enjoy what you see. Um, obviously you can see me drive my road out there um, just to work out where everything's going to go. So my car zooming around there, little Ford Fiesta um, out in style. Anyway, hope you're enjoying it. I hope you will enjoy what you see and I'll see you on the next episode after you've watched all of this. Okay, so I've been having a go at this lovely thing called static grass. Um, <laughs> I've had some fun, I'm, I'm letting it dry at the moment. I thought I'd have a go before showing you me doing it. I'll maybe add some layers later on. But basically I bought the WWS kit, the embankment kit. You get four bits with it, but I have some other colors as well. So I have a, <laughs> a little bit messy WWS um, grass applicator. And I'm gonna put some down on here. Um, I've got a packet of the uh, two millimeter summer. I'm happy for it to be bright, I love the summer. But then I've got this uh, app, this is from Wooden Scenic, so I grabbed this one. It's the colour that I was after, it's a longer grass, a 4mm one. So we'll put that on afterwards. We'll put this polyurethane basing glue on first. Um, and then after that we've got a layering spray, um, which looks a bit like hairspray. Um, and we will use that to spray over the top of what we've just done. So this one. And that will allow the 4mm um, stuff to stick to it. So I'll load up the applicator first, we'll put the glue on, spread it around to where we want it to be and then yeah we'll have some fun alright. Just bring the camera back a bit, there we go. So I just pour this in here, I've seen people put it in with cups. So that's that. quite a bit in here because I'm going to do quite a lot and have that ready to go. There's different ones of these you can get, um, these caps with fine and bigger ones and everything so I'm going to look at getting some more of them and what I do is I'm going to clip my clip to my track and that'll be enough. So what I see everyone else going to do. Fine, so what we do now is as you've seen on the last video well, the brown bits are going to be basically where I put my my grass. So I'm going to work this around to other areas that I want to have the grass. I'm going to add flock afterwards as well. And, well, kind of make it up as I go along. What I do is as I'm here. We'll just put the glue in the places that I want it to be. I'm going to be extending the board anyway this way so I can continue on. I can always mess around and make it look the same again. You need to get some little stones and add that on top of it at some point. Give it a unique look. I've watched loads of videos of how to do this. And I think the best thing is just to have a go and, and do it. My grass that's climbing up the side, defying the odds. So 
between various colors that you can use and different effects but this is the start of it and I can always do things again if I really hate it by digging it all up again let's go along there keep it in the view put that there that's a brown that's brown that's brown more here and then I can use that to borrow for other areas but I try and do all the stuff that's in shot to benefit all of you having a watch so I'm just enjoying myself probably making hard work for myself but this is the only way to learn is to just do it just like that Nike advert alright so on there I'm pretty happy Put it in the areas that I imagine the grass would be growing in our picturesque view. So we don't want grass growing up in places that it can't actually get to. I'm going to have to add quite a lot here, aren't we? I want to avoid sheer faces because can't imagine the grass would grow on that very easy. Be moss if it was anything, I guess. Okay. What we'll do is just do the last bits over here. But you can't really see them. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll stop there because I can always add more later and have some fun with it okay right now the exciting bit and it's very simple from all the things that I've watched is you turn it on put a little button here so that's on now it's got a PP3 battery in there and you give it a shake work your way over Keep it close enough. I was going from too far away before. I think that's empty so that's now that so I've turned it off and I'll let that start to dry so now we're gonna go for the six millimeter again okay. this is the wooden scenic stuff so I just pop that in I checked on the uh, new junctions video of how to do this so watch him put the um, layering spray on afterwards whilst it's still wet so it means I can have more fun and I don't have to wait hours for it to dry I feel like I need some more of this powder already so play with it in some places
Okay, let's turn it on. What I want to do is build up a bit of grass in some places because it's unkept. I'm going to add some 6mm. So I'll put this back in. This one's the wild meadow one that came with the kit. See how that one comes out. Comes out and almost balls this one. So I want to build it more up here. So these corners. It's on the hill again. Okay, let's flick it on. If it comes out, there we go. Get like a string piece there. All these different colours, giving it more of an. This is the six mil. For me, looks pretty good. A bit more there. So looking at it, you can see obviously I'm, I'm gonna hoover all off afterwards. But I'm just gonna just show you just how much this brightens it all up it's, it's mad um, I'm looking forward to bring the hoover up and maybe a bio hoover for the off one of those small ones so I can hoover up the bits and collect all the um, static grass because it'd be a real shame for that to become oh going in the bin basically you can see my car here the station will be over there he's marking it out before um, so I'm just gonna get an idea then I've got my signal box Oh, sorry for making all the noise. This isn't the one I'm going to use, one from that I had when I was younger. That's basically going to go here. And then we'll have a small car park. Um, well, not car park, but basically a car and a bicycle, and maybe we have a little shed behind it. Um, and then you've got the roadway that goes down there. Then there'll be a little crossing for people when they've uh, got off the train. And um, yeah, so it should be good. I'm looking forward to seeing how it all comes out. Um, but what I do is I wait for all to dry and then I continue the video. Hi guys, it's been three days now and um, I think it's all dry. I went to Tesco's, got myself a £20 hoover. Because I thought, well, whatever ends up in here can go inside um, a little packet and then I can use that again sometime. So I'm going to hoover this up and then we can have a closer look to see how this all looks. I'm kind of excited about it. I'm looking forward to doing the rest of it. I've got loads of ideas, so I'll crack on, do some hoovering, and well, I'll let you watch. We'll have a look.
So I'm pretty happy with this. If we look closely, if it stays in focus, see the fuzziness of the grass. Got my rocks poking through. Got my signal box over here. That'd be good. I'll be painting a little road on. Probably do that next. Not sure how to do it, and then I'll have some grass just here. Sorry for the wobbly camera. And then be more, I don't know, it'll be really live here because you get all the, I don't know, I know it'll get burnt a bit, so I guess I need to have burnt grass or, I don't know, we can have a play, can't we? I look at some pictures. They've been black and white, so I have no idea, so. Oh well. But yeah, that's an old signal box I painted when I was little. I'm wondering if I should use it. I've, I have ordered a laser kit, laser cut wooden one uh, off eBay. So that would come. Got a Mark 1 Ford Fiesta. I had a Mark 2 when I was younger, but my brother had a Mark 1. He had a blue one. I thought this is a nice representation of that. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm really happy with how that looks. Let's come over this side. I'm really happy with, as you saw in the last video, uh, you've got the, the rocks that are painted. And yeah. I think it looks alright, I just need to continue the rest of the mountain side now, do the side of that, maybe I'll come on to that at a future point. I want to lay a little bit more cork where I've got the mess over there where the brush is, um, and then that will support that, and then I can ballast it. Once that's ballasted, I then will do the, the mountain, I don't know, that's my order, um, or maybe I ballast it, who knows. But anyway, I'm, I've been having lots of fun with that, it's, it's great to have. Um, this, oh, this incline painted up now. It's been a joy to use the WWS kit. I expected it to be, I don't know, let's not call it more scary, but I'd watched loads of videos and I hadn't done it before, so I assumed it would be much harder, as everyone makes everything look easier. But I'm happy. This is how I thought it would come out. Actually, it looks better. There's obviously more colour and uh, yeah the paint really helps it pop through to make it look rocky and I'm looking forward to run some engines through but I'm not going to do it just yet I want to do a bit more down here because down here I'm going to have a crossing just there for the cars so they'll kind of run down here and then they got the crossing then there's a car park which will have maybe a little bike shed I don't know and then you've got your platform where the brushes so that will be one level for the narrow gauge and then you'll have the double o gauge bit for that line that comes in there and then like i've said before i'll have a piece of wood coming out here and i'll have more um 009 stuff going on here uh, so that'll be cool so i've got quite a bit of work to do still but i've now done a yeah, there's cars outside. Oh, there's a motorbike. Um, yeah, so I've done some grass work now, and um, I'm happy. You need a decent hoover. My hoover wasn't good enough, in my view. Um, you can kind of manipulate the bits afterwards. But yeah, anyway, it's been a pleasure to see you all. Look after yourselves, and I'll see you next time. Bye.